Hey there, my name is Dave, and I'm gonna show you how I was able to reverse my hair loss. Not only that, I was able to grow back a head of full, thick, shiny, vibrant hair in a very short time. And you'll learn what I did to go from losing hair to enjoying a thick, full head of hair again, like I had when I was young. Better yet, I did it using safe, natural, and highly effective hair growth tricks. Now, in order for me to show you how I stopped hair loss and started growing my hair again, I have to introduce you to my good friend, Mike. See, I've known Mike since we were roommates in college. Since then, he always had a head full of thick, amazing hair. He used to have women come up to him all the time and compliment him on how good his hair looked. In fact, all through school, Mike had a very hot girlfriend who used to sit on the couch and just run her hands through his hair any chance she could get. We used to joke and call him Mr. Hair Model because all we ever heard was how great Mike's hair was. When we graduated, we both got jobs in the same city, so we kept in touch. But it was about a year ago when things seemed to get weird with Mike after he stopped answering my texts and calls. Out of the blue, it seemed like he disappeared. Well, he used to post pictures on Facebook of all the trips he and his girlfriend took together, but Mike was posting less and less. And any time there was a picture posted, it almost seemed like he was hiding from the camera. So one day, just to see how he was doing, I sent him a text. Fine, was his reply. Well, this didn't seem like the happy-go-lucky Mike I knew from college. Sensing something was wrong, I called him to see what was going on. Mike said that a few months ago, he began noticing his hair was falling out and that he was finding traces of it all over the house. Mike said he'd wake up and see hair on his pillow, in the bottom of the shower drain, in the sink, and on his comb. He said he was freaking out because his thick head of hair was thinning, and he was scared it would continue falling out until he was completely bald. He told me he was worried his girlfriend would think less of him as a man, because she had always told him how much she loved his full head of hair. Now that he was going bald, he said his girlfriend was showing him less affection the last few months. She used to run her hands through his thick, full hair. Now she almost never touches his head. He said he feels less like a man now. He really opened up and told me he was feeling insecure about himself and his hair loss and how it was wrecking his confidence and self-esteem. He said that when he noticed it was thinning, he went to the doctor to see if anything was wrong, but all of his tests came back normal, showing he was healthy. He even went as far as researching how much hair transplant surgery was, but that he couldn't afford it when he learned it was almost $10,000. Mike said that every time he found another lump of his hair on the pillow, in the sink, or in the shower drain, he'd feel depressed and worse. He felt like each time he threw a clump of his hair away, he was throwing a piece of himself and his life away. Mike, this is not unusual, I said. A lot of guys lose their hair. You don't understand, Dave. My hair was the one thing I had over everyone else. This was my go-to ticket to stand out. People at work always commented on how great it looked. My girlfriend told me all the time how great I looked. And now those things are gone, and it's taking a toll on my confidence. I feel like losing my hair and going bald will turn me into some kind of weirdo. When I go out in public, if I decide to go out, I feel like everyone is staring at me if I don't have my hat on. I feel so self-conscious, like I'm the center of attention. I tried to explain to Mike that this was common and that millions of guys had to deal with losing hair and going bald, and I knew that made little difference because it was personal. Well, bro, I wish there was something I could do for you. But remember, dude, you're more than your hair, okay? Uh, don't let it affect you that badly. It's just hair. I got off the phone with Mike and told him I'd talk to him again soon. Over the next week or two, what Mike had feared all along came true. He posted on his Facebook account that he was no longer with his girlfriend. I felt bad because I knew he liked this girl. Now, here's where this all takes a weird, almost unbelievable turn. I'm not sure if I jinxed myself or put some kind of curse on myself when I said to Mike, it's just hair. Because I kid you not, less than four weeks later, when I got out of the shower, I looked down at the drain and saw a huge pile of black hair in the drain. At first, I didn't think much of it, but the next few days, I could see in the mirror that my hair was looking thinner and balding in a few spots. 
as more and more hair started falling out, I started noticing clumps on my comb. I started getting worried that I'd lose my hair like Mike. I went to the doctor to see if something major was wrong. After my initial blood test, my doctor said everything looked normal at first glance. I remember his words to this day. You're going to have to live with it, he said. Well, that didn't make me feel too confident. I kept thinking how ironic this was. All the times I used to tease Mike all about his hair, calling him shallow because he always focused on his hair. Here I was in the same situation. I soon realized just how important it was for guys to be happy with their hair and how losing it affected their confidence. It's not a vanity or ego thing, it's a self-confidence and self-esteem issue. Losing your hair, having a receding hairline, and going bald can really affect how you feel about yourself. It was causing huge confidence problems for me. So, needless to say, if you've ever felt embarrassed, insecure, or self-conscious because your hair is falling out, I completely understand how you feel because it happened to me. You're not alone at all. There's no reason to feel ashamed or embarrassed. I'm going to tell you right now that there's something you can do about it. That's right. No matter how much hair you're losing or how bald you're getting, you can reverse your hair loss and grow back a head full of healthy, thick hair. Stick with me, do this to the end of this presentation because Mike and I both have very happy endings to our stories and we'd like to share them with you. That's right, you can actually reverse your hair loss so you're able to get your hair back, your confidence back, and your self-esteem back. Better yet, you won't need expensive hair products or other magic treatments. No hyped up pills or potions, no hair growth serums, or $10,000 hair transplant surgery. So go ahead and watch this short presentation to learn exactly how to reverse your hair loss and grow a head full of thick, shiny hair. Remember Mike, my friend from college who had gone from having a head full of incredible hair to going bald and losing his hair? Well, the weird thing was, after my last phone conversation with Mike, we lost contact with one another for a while, like friends often do. So I tried to reach him on Facebook again. When I logged into Facebook and went to his page, I was absolutely blown away by what I saw. See, the last few pictures Mike had posted with him and his girlfriend, you could tell he was going bald. But his most recent posts, they showed him with a thick head of hair again. No balding at all. He had that same full head of thick hair we used to tease him about in college. I couldn't believe it. Mike is actually wearing a toupee, was my first thought. After all, it was five months or so since I last talked to him. Now his recent Facebook photos showed him with a full head of hair. I couldn't believe how amazing he looked. He looked like a new man, like he had been completely transformed. I sent Mike a text and asked him to call me, saying it was urgent. He called me back a few minutes later and sounded amazingly happy. Dave, he yelled into the phone with excitement. How are you? Dude, you're not going to believe this. That whole hair loss thing you had to go through, I'm losing my hair now too. My hair has been falling out over the last few months and I've got a big bald spot on the top of my head. Shut up, he yelled. You serious? Dave, I'd be meaning to call you and thank you for the advice you gave me. When I was losing my hair, I took your advice when you said, it's just hair and not to worry about it. So instead of worrying about it, I decided to take action and try to solve my problem. I mean, People grow new muscles by lifting weights, so maybe I could do it with hair. Mike told me that not only did he reverse his hair loss, he was able to grow back thicker and fuller than it was in college. His bald spots were covered by thick, shiny hair, and he said his confidence and self-esteem were back. Mike told me that he was loving life again, so much more confident when going out in public. He said that people no longer stare at him, and instead, he was noticing more women turning to look his way. He even said he was dating another woman. Well, he must have known I was going to ask him how he did it because before I could get the words out, he said, dude, I'm coming over. I got something incredible to show you. An hour later, Mike showed up carrying a binder full of papers. When he showed up, he just smiled and said, I know why your hair's falling out. It's the same reason mine did and I can reverse it like I did mine. Trust me, I'm about to change your life and your balding head, he choked. <laughs> Well, sitting across from Mike, seeing his incredible head of hair now, remembering that a few months ago he was almost bald, but here he was, sitting across from me with a full, thick head of hair. I mean, this guy literally went from almost bald and in months 
had a head full of thick hair. I was shocked that he grew all of his hair back in a few months. It was unreal. 